no, I had more yesterday, didn't I? I had more yesterday. The wife's been in the wallet. Uh, 45 pounds. How many dwarves? Last chance. How many dwarves does Snow White have? So who doesn't know their Disney movies? She obviously didn't. But then she was in hypnosis. We're going to be talking about taking risks today. Ooh, can there be risks in hypnosis? We're going to talk about risks and we're also going to be talking about how the mind stores things in different ways. All with the thanks of that little clip there. Well, the extended street hypnosis clip that you're going to see inside. So join me inside and find out more. Hi there, my name is Tara Mirza, I'm a hypnotist and a clinical hypnotherapist and well, I do like to shoot outdoors but it's still a bit nippy, it's just the beginning of March. Wow, March 2023, time's flying by and we're having fun and we're doing some street hypnosis. Well actually this clip is from last year, back in June of 2022 and you've seen this lady before, I'm going to put some links in the info cards above of her previous videos so do check them out. I show you a little clip and then talk about that clip and as I said at the beginning I'm going to be talking about hypnosis and risk. Now I'm going to do a spoiler alert. There's no big risks in hypnosis, not to the people. What I was talking about was the risk to my money by offering her money if she could say the number seven. So stay tuned, I'm going to be talking about that there. I'm also going to be talking about a very interesting fact. It's demonstrated nicely in this video and uh, it's about how we store things not in just one place inside our minds uh, and different ways you'll see that very well demonstrated in this video so keep watching for that and i'll talk about that in the follow-up tutorial after the video clips finished so stay tuned don't switch off after the fun is over because you're going to get some interesting facts about hypnosis and about the mind inside this video if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you give it a like and don't forget click the subscribe button and that bell notification button it helps my channel grow and it helps other people find this channel and learn about hypnosis and learn about their mind so please do take a moment to do those little tasks and if you've got any questions about this video or about hypnosis in general or about me or anything at all leave it in the comment section below i love reading your comments and answering your comments and sometimes from time to time as i did a few weeks ago and as i do regularly i will make a video based around the comment about the question you ask in the comment section so please do ask those questions you never know you might get featured and i'll give you a little name drop if you do but enough of that let's watch the video going to count from one to three in the count of three you'll no longer see Hugh Jackman in the audience Hugh Jackman is away he's disappeared but in a moment on the count of three when you open your eyes you will not remember the number seven the number seven will just disappear from your mind you know how you've counted how you've always counted one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven twelve the number between six and eight is just gone now it's disappeared you will not remember that number you know how to count one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven twelve nod your head that you understand one two three open your eyes you having fun let's play a little game put your hands up like this here i'm going to play a little counting game okay out loud for everybody in the audience one two three four You've got 12 fingers. <laughs> Start again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, so it's 11 fingers. Is that better? No, it's not. No? How many fingers should you have? 10. Right, count this hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you got five fingers in that hand. One, two, three, four, five. Five and five is? Ten. Ten. Okay. From the top. Both hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> I need to say this delicate. I need to say this delicate. Did somebody give you a finger this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy. <laughs> tell you what, tell you what. Uh, one and one. Two. Two and two. Four. Uh, three and four. Eight. <laughs> uh, what about uh, six and one? Eight. <laughs> okay, what about movie quiz? We'll do a movie quiz. Uh, 
What about, uh, what do you call that? Do you like Disney movies? Yes. What do you call that one? Snow White and How Many Dwarfs? Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is that right? Yeah. No. I'll give you five pounds if you tell me how many dwarfs Snow White has. Eight. She needs more motivation, doesn't she? <laughs> I'll give you 20 pounds if you tell me how many dwarfs Snow White has. <laughs> so, oh, no, so, I had more that yesterday, didn't I? I had more yesterday. The wife's been in the wallet. Uh, 45 pounds. How many dwarfs, last chance, how many dwarfs does Snow White have? It's away. Didn't win it. Didn't win it. Sleep. Way down. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Relax. In the moment, I'm going to count from one to five. In the count of five, all the numbers will come back to you fully. You will remember the number seven. You'll be able to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, etc. All the numbers will come back to you fully. Your name will come back to you fully. But on the count of five, you'll feel fantastic. You'll feel like you've had a 12 hour sleep, like a six hour massage. Full of life, full of invigoration. And your unconscious will go inside and find something else you want to change. Something you know you want to change. You'll find that way of changing that. Maybe not right in this moment, but maybe tonight you sleep or maybe tomorrow night you should sleep your unconscious will find that thing you want to change and you will wake up in the morning knowing that something powerful has changed inside the way you want to think so one feeling that feeling of hypnosis just disappear from the tips of your toes two washing up through your legs through your stomach through your pelvis three take a deep breath in feel that energy washing away all the way through your four like a fresh mountain breeze in your head feeling alive and five stretching right awake ah. ladies and gentlemen big round of applause for our superstar do you remember what happened? When I tap you in the forehead, bang, everything remembers now. What did I do? Do you remember counting your fingers? Yeah. And having 11 fingers, and maybe even 12 fingers? It wasn't what I suggested. That's the power of your unconscious mind. There you go. What was it like when your feet were stuck to the floor? Weird. But good way. Yeah. Yeah. In a powerful yeah. way. And you know yeah. now something more powerful. I like yeah, that's it. Yeah. You're always safe. There you go. Here, do you remember do you remember meeting Hugh Jackman? <laughs> You were a star. Oh, wow. And thanks to our... Where's, where's Hugh Jackman? Hi. She's away. There you go. What did you actually think of that? Just for... Does she not know who <laughs> I don't remember anything, really. No. I tap you. Bang. Then it'll come back to you now. There you go. Remember now? Yes. Oh, my God. Forget your I name. I Karen and I know her. <laughs> there you oh go. Oh, my God. She went to school with my husband. Did I think she was Hugh Jackman? You did. Oh, my God. I thought... Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> for being a star. <laughs> you were a star. You were a star. Well done. Thank there you, you go. So wasn't she a star? She really was brilliant. So let's break down that skit right from the start. Uh, to begin with, I'm removing the previous suggestion. In the previous skit we were doing, I'd got her to imagine that someone in the crowd was Hugh Jackman, so we're removing that suggestion and giving her the idea that the number seven had disappeared, that she couldn't remember the number seven. But look what happens when I wake her up and she starts to count. She counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. She ends up with 12 fingers because she forgot the number 6 and the number uh, 8. What happened to the number 7? It still was counted. She's always in control of how she accepts that suggestion, how and when that suggestion exactly sinks in. We've given her the idea of number amnesia and she's accepted that but for the wrong numbers. So I want to work it again. I want to make sure, I want to see if she can get her to forget the number seven. So I get her to count her, num the, her fingers again. And this time, surprise, surprise, the number seven disappears. So I'm now pretty confident. We were talking about risk and talking about risking not her mind and hypnosis because her mind is never at risk in hypnosis. Let's again, clear that one out of the way but I'm risking my money, I'm going to risk my money if that things go well, so I want to make sure that number seven has disappeared. So I move on from counting fingers to doing a one, one plus one is two, two plus two is four. Skit till I get to the number of counting seven. Now, interesting enough, this is the point I raised at the beginning of the video, 
We store numbers in a variety of ways. We think of counting in one part of our mind. We process numbers and process counting in one area of our mind. But when it comes to things like one and one is two, as I'm sure if you think about it now, you don't actually count one plus one and do the maths it just comes to your mind if you say three and three six you don't think about counting the first three then adding one adding two adding three it just comes to mind three and three is six because that idea inside our mind is processed in a different area of our brain so this is what i'm talking about that we process things in different ways in different parts of our mind even if it's something like counting and even if it's something like numbers there's different parts of our brain depending on what the numbers are and what the task is. If it's a detailed task like what's 45 plus 22, we will actually do the math. Maybe we'll do add two first, so 45 plus two is 47, and then 20 is uh, 67. So we'll we'll process that in one part of our brain. But if somebody says four and four, we just say eight. We just skip straight to that number. So when I'm asking her the two different types of maths, well, I'm actually processing and exercising that the amnesia has happened throughout her mind. Even the idea of processing a movie title. So I move on to movie titles and I say, well, what's that movie, Snow White and How Many Dwarfs? There's no counting involved in thinking of the dwarfs. The number seven is just a you know, part of a title and it's stored in a different part of our mind and yet notice what happens when I when I start to take the money out and that's where the risk was involved when I start to take the money out I see her counting you know she's counting she knows it's seven and she's counting out seven fingers but she's going one two three four five six she's not getting to the number seven and that's beautiful because when I'm taking a risk, I'm not really taking a risk. I've already tested counting her fingers. I've already tested her summation from memory, and they've all gone. And even as I was taking my wallet out of my pocket, before I took any money out, I was saying, you know, how many dwarfs does Snow White has? So I knew her answer was going to be six before I uh, uncovered that I was going to present and, and gamble money on it. So I'm reducing the risk. All that said, it's not impossible that she could snap out of hypnosis because unlike in therapy where someone comes to me for a change and wants that change, she doesn't actually want to lose the number seven. So it may pop back at any time because you know it's not something she consciously wanted. Always be aware of that. When we're doing street hypnosis, we're asking th people to do things that they consciously don't want. Now they have consciously said, I want to be hypnotized, I want an experience, and we're giving them an experience. But if it's an experience that they don't really want, they still have the power to pop out of it. So there's a, a risk there all the same. It's not guaranteed. But I've done all the things I can, I've done all the testing, not to mention the previous skits worked very well, so I know that she is a good hypnotic subject, that she accepts suggestions, she's happy to accept little crazy suggestions. So that all weights to the fact that this suggestion is going to work well. So I hope you understand that. Now this has a, an impact on the hypnotherapy side of things. When we're doing hypnotherapy, I might work with someone for a session, and they come back and say, well, it didn't really work that week. It's not that it didn't work. We've, eliminated one part of the mind and how the mind thinks about the problem but there's several areas of the mind just like in counting and like anything the mind just doesn't hold on to things in one area of your brain so we need to eliminate all of them before the therapeutic change will totally sink in and that's again an important point to to raise because some people think this stuff's magic and it looks magical and i do a lot of what i can to make it look very theatrical and very magical in the moment when I'm doing street hypnosis but ultimately it's not magic and there's process to it and we're trying to get amnesia in various parts of the mind sometimes we might get it in one session sometimes it might take two three maybe even four sessions before we tap into the real issues and remove everything through our the mind and again it's not about me taking control and eliminating things from the client's mind it's about me working with the client to get them to create that change inside themselves. Again, a very important point to, to raise when we're talking about therapeutic change and hypnosis. 
So hopefully you understand there's little risk, but there's a small risk involved when I'm taking out money. And again, I'm always moving it up in stages. I'm, I'm saying five pounds, no, 25 pounds, no, 45 pounds. I'm raising the stakes every time. And every time I'm checking to make sure that the amnesia is there. So I reduce the risks where I can, but I'm pretty sure given my experiences in hypnosis and working with people in street hypnosis, that I'm not gonna take my money out unless I know they're not gonna say it. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope the idea of understanding how the mind works and processing things in different other areas is also very important too. So that's the skit finished with. I think that's all I wanted to say about the skit. Moving on just to the immersion, I'm giving her a little gift. I'm saying your unconscious will find something inside your mind that's gonna help you change. That's always nice to give someone a little hypnotic gift at the end of any street hypnosis. We've had a bit of fun with her. We made her do a few things that are slightly silly, hopefully not too embarrassing or you know, in any way insulting to the individual. I never like to insult or embarrass the individual, but I do like to have a bit of fun, as you saw in this skit today. So I want to give them a gift and say thank you for, you know, what you have helped me do in, in creating a little video like this here. After the gift, I count them out. And when I count them out, they're still in that suggestibility phase. So I give that little suggestion by tapping them on the forehead and saying, you will remember. First time, notice how when I did that, she was still in that hypnotic phase and she didn't accept that suggestion fully because she was all coming out of hypnosis and saying what just happened but I do it the second time and bang. She remembers everything to the point where she's going, oh, I know that lady over there. Yeah, I thought she was Hugh Jackman. A great experience all round. And I just don't walk away from someone. You see that little bit of preamble where I'm saying, what was it like? And she says it was weird. And I said, yeah, but weird in a good way. I'm chatting to them for a bit to make sure they're okay before I just walk away from them. It's always very important to do that aftercare service. If somebody thinks it's weird, as you saw me in that video, I said, oh, weird in a good way. And you'll often see me say that phrase. Everybody experiences weird and doesn't mean it in any negative way, but I want to reinforce that they don't have any negative weirdness as they walk away. And then I have that little chat and then you even see my camera person on the day saying, well, you know, can you tell us what you thought? And she says, yeah. It was very good. So getting that feedback, staying with them for a bit, just to make sure everybody's okay. A nice little bit of aftercare for what they have done by giving you a, a video or just giving you the experience of uh, allowing them to uh, be hypnotized by yourself. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I don't want to talk for too long because it is nippy outside. Oh, it's getting cold when I get back inside. But thanks very much for watching the video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you give it a like. And don't forget, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button. And if you have any comments, as I said, please do leave it in the comment section below. I really love reading your comments. And I'll leave you with this video. This is the video from her previous experience where she thought she saw Hugh Jackman. Hope you'll enjoy that video too. Uh, leave comments in that one as well. In the meantime, have a good week and see you next week.